Hello, thank you for joining me for today's video. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, in Australia. This is the card that we're going to be making today. The stamp set that I'm using is Spotlight on Nature. We're also going to be using the 24 to 26 in colour shimmer gems. I'm using the new in colour Petunia Pop. We're going to need Memento ink. And I'm using Petunia Pop and Granny Apple Green Blends. These are the measurements that you're going to need for this card. Now, to do my stamping on the bottom over there, I like to line it up roughly halfway. You can use a post-it note, but I've got a tatty strip of masking paper. The one thing with this masking paper is that when you first start using it, it is very sticky. So when you peel off the back, just tap it against your skin just to make it that little bit less sticky because otherwise it will actually rip the paper when you take it off. And use your grid paper to line up so that it's straight. So all that I'm trying to achieve here is to have that nice straight line. And if I happen to go slightly over, it's going to stamp on my masking paper rather than above here so that it's not straight. I wouldn't be able to stamp it straight. If you think that you can see straight, well, go ahead and do it. So we're going to ink up our flowers. One over there. Ink again. I'm going to put another little flower just at the bottom over here. Okay, we're done with that piece. Now, I like my insides of the cards decorated. Everything needs to match. So what I'm going to do is just stamp some of these flowers onto the bottom corner of my insert. And of course, I need my front piece. So again, with the grid paper, I'm lining it up so that my corners are on the two center lines now before I put my memento away we want some of this hashtag And here it's all going to depend on where you've stamped your flowers as to where you're going to stamp this hash design. So just see where you've got some places that look like they need a little bit of extra fill in. That's our stamping with the memento done. Now I do very simple colouring. What I'm going to do is taking my light petunia pop, I'm going to colour in the petals. Now dark petunia pop, I'm going to use the bullet tip this side and just flick over the lines that are already stamped there just to give us a bit of extra depth in the flowers. Now I'm going to do the same on the leaves with the light and the dark granny apple green. Now 
gonna stick my flowers onto the mat. It looks like I got some ink on my card, but I'm not going to get too fussed about that because I'm going to hide it when I stick my layer on. And then we're going to again try and get it straight that my corners are all straight. Insert can go inside the card. I like using the liquid glue because as you can see I generally put things down crooked so the liquid glue allows me time to slide things straight. And I've got my little piece here for my sentiment with my petunia pop ink. We're going to stamp the sentiment on here. I'm going to see if I can stamp that a little bit straighter. Not happy with that one. I think that that looks better. Now, I'm going to just trim those edges a little bit closer to the sentiment. And then what I'm going to do is cut down, trying to get it into the middle, and then from each corner to the edge of the cut, so that I'm flagging it. Now we're going to put some glue along the back. Just roughly across the middle from point to point. And I've got my little thin strip here of Petunia Pop. Trim that edge slightly. We need some dimensionals so that it's going to pop up a bit. And of course, every card needs some bling. And that's our card made. I'm sure that you're going to have lots of fun with this stamp set. It is beautiful and there's lots that you can do with it. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, bye.